Mom, come on, please. I want wreckage. I want carnage. I want blood. You look like you want to go out for a Sunday drive as you caress the wheel ever so seductively. I kind of want to out now, to be perfectly honest. Hey, can I come ride with you? What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Now while last episode was probably the most fun I've had playing this game yet, we didn't actually make any progress on the park and I really do want to finish this park at some point. So today I'm gonna take on a pretty big challenge. I want to actually try to finish this upper section of the ship. I wanna put in rides, I wanna really work around the coaster and then put shops, you know, I want there to be a reason for people to come up here other than just the curvy scurvy, which is actually closed right now because I didn't even save at the end of the last episode since we didn't end up really building anything. So hopefully we're gonna manage to make it work. I think they've actually introduced a couple of new rides as well. I'm not totally sure which ones. I think we noticed last episode that the Bumpin' Derby was one, and I could not remember what this was called last episode. I was watching it when I was editing it again, and I realized that I did a really good job of not conveying the fact that I could not remember the word bumper car for the life of me. I was just like, oh yeah, this, this thing. Yeah, I really can't wait to use this. But yes, this is a bumper car what do you call it, derby, arena, gladiatorial match, whatever it is, we definitely need to place it, and I definitely want to see what it's like riding it in the first person perspective. Oh, oh, you can actually fit there. That is perfect. We'll put it right underneath the triple loo. Not totally sure how I want to rotate these things yet, but we can just place things down, move them around later. I just want to get a rough idea of where everything is going to go. I also really want to put a Ferris wheel up here because we don't have one anywhere else in the park. They're, they're really awkward, right? They're really large. You can't just plug them down in the middle of a park. So I might be able to put it up here at the front or maybe in the back. That would kind of be a cool idea. Like, uh, I think there's one really big one that we had before. Yeah, like like around here somewhere. That way, people sitting on the coaster that are kind of getting pulled up will be able to make eye contact with people on the Ferris wheel. That's great. Or they can look to the left and realize that they're like a thousand feet in the air, whatever floats the road. Now, have they introduced any other rides? I'm not totally sure. I do want to put some kid things up here too, right? Like this is, uh, I think it's an octopus, like, uh, what is it? It's just called the Rocktopus, but it's like teacups. So stuff like that could uh, maybe squeeze in, yeah, like squeeze in over here, that kind of thing. Just, it, I don't want it to all be like intense, terrifying things like down there. This might be like more of a childish section. Um, what else did they introduce? I don't think we have this thing anywhere. So that, oh, oh yeah, that fits really well actually. The, the arm will go down and over the coaster. That's the biggest thing. It's really difficult to kind of work around the coaster. People were telling me, you know, why don't you make another coaster and it can kind of intertwine with this one. But there's like a lot of invisible walls. You can't put stuff very close to other things because of the moving parts. You don't want stuff to clip. The game just isn't designed to do that. So I think that's probably going to be our one coaster. I might be able to do another one down around the lake if possible. But there's definitely only going to be one up here. So that looks really good right there. And is there anything else? I think most of this stuff is, yeah, it's like really, 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 really big. <laughs> but I do want to try to put stuff that we don't have down there. I want to have like at least one of every ride in my park. So stuff like this might be able to fit a mm, little bit big. Oh, right. This is one that I want to put down at the front of the park, I think, because it's another, like, it's not really piratey. It's kind of piratey. The thing at the top kind of looks like the, uh, Ursula, is it? I don't know, the angry purple mermaid from uh, Little Mermaid, right? She, she kind of looks like that, so she might look good up near the front of the ship somewhere. But other than that, yeah, I don't really want, like, an Empire State Building or something like that. That's a little awkward. This is like a spaceship one, I think. That's what it's supposed to look like. Hmm, I moved it for just a second so that I could put a path down and now it doesn't want to go back to where it was. It was so perfect too. Okay, you know what? Screw it. That looks fine there. So I do have a couple of rides put in. I've switched a few out. I moved the Ferris wheel over a little bit. I wasn't sure if I wanted it centered or if I wanted it moved over to kind of line up with the climb. Still not totally sure which I like more. Uh, yeah, you know, centered would look cool. 
I'm not totally sure. We'll, we'll think about that. But yeah, I have a path laid down. Super simple little loop. That's really all that we need. I've left room for shops and stuff like that because that's going to be really important. And one thing that I need to do before I forget, uh, benches, right? Benches? Where would I find? There we go. Barrel benches. Because if people are going to be making that climb, they're probably going to be a little bit tired. So I think I would like to give them... I'll wait for the path to get wide, I think. Give them a place to sit down once they reach the summit. I actually don't know if it tires people, because when I was playing a little bit of my spare time just figuring the coaster out, I noticed that people would, like, sprint up this, and they don't get any more tired than if they were walking around. Like, I don't think incline actually affects the guests. It looks like, you know, if you walked from, uh, from, say, the castle all the way down to the pirate ship, it would be just as tiring as climbing these stairs. Which is great, because uh, I, I didn't think anybody was actually going to bother to climb these stairs. Definitely need to make sure that these queues aren't too long. That's an issue that I realized in the last episode. So like I said, last episode wasn't a total waste. It was good to kind of get into the park and look around, experience it yourself, because some of the queues you would get in, and then people would go, and then people would go again. You would have to wait like two or three full rides just standing there, and that's too long. So maybe a single loop there will be fine. I think it really depends on the ride itself, right? This one can only have, uh, what, uh, maybe a dozen or so people? So, yeah, yeah, that's probably okay. I kind of like the way that this looks. It's going to be a little bit different, but if I get it just right... Something like that, right? Yeah, because then we'll be able to kind of hide the queue a little bit. Is that cheesy? I don't really know. At least we can put a little bit of scenery there, and that will help with the coaster's rating, right? Because we're still at three and three quarter stars, but any scenery will help. So then people will be able to go up. You can get in line up here, and then we have an exit, right? Needs to come uh, like that. I don't know why it has a little ramp. Like, why can't the stairs go down? and then be flat. I don't, I don't get it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, I think everything has a queue and an entrance and an exit. Should be good to go. I should be able to hit play and just start opening stuff once again. You know, screw testing. I'm sure we'll be just fine. If anybody dies, then we'll just throw them overboard and say it was the neighbors. For some reason, this is the only ride that refuses to open without being tested. Why? I have no idea. All you do is get spun around in a basket. Right? And never mind the roller coaster where you're going to be doing upside down loops a thousand feet above the ground. That's okay. We don't even need to bother with that. But I mean, this one, you could get a splinter, a, a skin knee, hiccups. You never know. We really need to put this one through the ringer. The details in this game are just mind blowing. Look at the bumper cars. I can't wait to see people in this. Also, like, it's just little things. Like, hold on a second. If I zoom out, can I see any right now? I don't think I can. Like, there are little birds flying around as well. And they have, like, way more detail in the modeling than they probably should. What is that? Oh, that's actually a cool ride. What do you, you get, like, your own little personal plane? I see. You get spun around. Oh, do they get spun, like, right up against the coaster? <laughs> oh, the music is good, too. Oh, man, that's great. Okay, so I think we have almost all of the rides in our park now. We're getting there. People are on their way up, enjoying the the brain jar thing. Yeah, that, that's a premium ride. I also need to remember this episode to make sure that my staff are doing okay. I don't know where I can actually see an overview of them. I thought it would be here, but this is just where I can hire more staff, right? Like, I have more than one janitor and one mechanic, but, oh, wait, work roster? No. I, I might need to look into that for next episode. I was supposed to do that for this episode, but, like, I think I just need to go find them, right? Is is anybody working? They're usually hanging out around this corner. Uh, they should stand out. Here's somebody doing their job. What are you up to? Miss Ellie 1. Were you born with that name, Miss Ellie One? Workload high. I'm doing two people's work here, but my pay is fair. And she's not very happy. Okay, I think they can actually quit, so we should probably do something for them. We're gonna give you uh, more training. Yeah! <laughs> she's so cute. Uh, and she's a little bit happier there. Okay, and you know what? We're gonna give you an extra $20 a month. No, you don't, you don't like that? How about uh, an extra $40 a month? That's the most I can do. 
Workload is still, I'm not getting paid what I'm worth. What are you worth, girl? Okay, if you're gonna go sweet talking me, I can do 350, but that's the best, okay? Uh, workload is still high. Everything is all right, I suppose. I'm not getting paid what I'm worth. I can't give you any more than 350, okay? That's a lot of freaking money. You're making twice as much as Captain Lockjaw, and he's the mascot of the park. So don't tell him. We should probably go over here and see what he's making, actually. I'm doing two people's work. Yeah, but you see, my pay is fair because he knows what's up. You know what? Screw it, Lockjaw. You'll earn more money, too, because you are worth it. You're the mascot. That's why you're climbing the stairs. Look at him go. So you go work up there. Come to think of it, you know, why don't we just hire more people? If everybody's doing two people's worth of work, then uh, I'll just hire more. So what other entertainers can we get? Um, we can get Dexar. We can get a princess, a giant Chief Beef Burger. Okay, let's get a Chief Beef Burger and put it out in front of Chief Beef, right? You're Chief Beef and you're the burger. <laughs> you are terrifying. Oh my God. Chief Beef won. He doesn't even have a name. I might need to, oh, it's because he's a mascot. I see. I was going to say, because I think the janitors actually have names. I just call them Scruffy because they're scruffy looking. Who else can we hire? I feel like we might need one more person. Um, Cosmic Cow. Okay, we have one of those over here. She bounces around on her titties, which is just fantastic. <laughs> She's like Randy from South Park when he had testicular cancer. And you can even hear it. Just little, little tiny things, like the actual sound of her bouncing on udders. Fantastic. Lockjaw is still pissed off. His workload is apparently high. He says, I'm snowed under with tasks. I don't know what more I can do, man. I hired on a cow and like, she's not making the most money, but I, I guess she's okay, kind of happy with her job. How are you feeling now? Still workload high. I need more training to do this much work. Okay, uh, more training. There you go. I can do that, that's not a big deal. I'm guessing that you don't actually do that much, right? You don't seem all that talented. People are shooting stuff off in the air and doing gunplay and stuff like that. You're just bouncing on your titties and waving at people. Woo ha ha! That kind of stuff, right? This is why you're making less money. I'm definitely seeing an inconsistency in the park, mostly because we don't have this end developed yet. But like down here, it's, um, it's manageable. It's a little bit sparse. There aren't too many people, but it's a decent flow through. But when you go up here, it's just a disaster. It's a blockade. And I'm wondering how we're doing up here now. Okay, yeah, this isn't too, too bad. Oh boy, okay. Lot of people wanting to get on the curvy scurvy, which is great. How is the queue working out? So these guys are all gonna get on. Are you all gonna be able to get in here or are we gonna have people waiting for two full rides? Because that's not like necessarily what I want. Let them on, man. What are you doing? There you go, okay. We're gonna load in the next group. It's not gonna be enough. No, not even close to enough, I don't think. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's fine. We do have two carts, right? So they're only waiting like 40 seconds each time. Not the end of the world. Why is nobody... Why aren't you open? What? Open. There we go. This is the main one that I wanted to see. I think they've really only been adding the Christmassy stuff recently. There hasn't been much in the way of pirate stuff. So I have gone on the workshop and downloaded a bunch of blueprints that kind of match together. I have a rough idea of the kind of theme I want for up here because we do have individual themes across the park. Down by the water, we have the broken ships and kind of the, the sand and the tropical area kind of thing. And then over here, like it's a lot more, I don't know, like South American, I guess you could say, kind of like these stucco houses or, or Mexican, technically that's North America. And then we have the, um, the fortress, but up here, I want it to be a little bit more like tropical. So on my blueprints, I've downloaded stuff like um, this. Yeah, because there's a lot of really cool uh, tropical trees and like um, grass houses and stuff like that. That, like, alone looks pretty freaking good. What else did I get? Okay, we have another one that's a little bit more wooden. We have, uh, oh yeah, good, a fortress. So we might be able to fit that somewhere if we need to take up some space. We have a little tiny coffee shop. Uh, yeah, like an ATM. It's a lot of scenery stuff, a lot of, like, smaller things, but hopefully it should work out. Oh, I got a toilet as well. I wanted to put that down here somewhere because... That kind of fits in with this theme. Where do we, we have a toilet there. We have a toilet uh, there. Hmm. 
we might not need this one. I guess I could technically turn it into anything. I could just pop that toilet out there and put anything. That's the beauty of this game. Everything is so, uh, like, dynamic. You can take it out and turn it into a food place if I really wanted to, which I kind of want to do. Maybe I'll make it into a coffee place or something like that. Let's try something along those lines. So we can squeeze you in, uh, say, there-ish. Okay. And then we can edit you. Get rid of the toilet. Get rid of the toilet. Hmm. Might need to edit the building a little bit as well. But if we go to shops and facilities, custom. That's the one thing I don't think I have down here is Street Fox Coffee. So we can... Whoop, whoop. Uh, there we go, and uh, ro rotate like that. Yeah, okay. Actually, that doesn't look terrible, to be honest. Is there a sign for it? Of course there is. There's a sign for everything, but it's a little bit awkward because it's got that pole underneath it, and I can't get rid of that, right? They all have poles underneath them. So I guess we're going to have to go with this one. You have poles, too. Why? So is there no storefront sign? Do they all have to go on top? That's really disappointing. All right then, screw it. If that's how it's gonna be, you can go up there. Strong Fox Coffee, okay. So that should, uh, people be able to figure it out. I'm not super concerned. And then uh, other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Just pop it in there. The workshop is incredibly useful. We still have a lot of building to do down here, by the way. There's a whole lot of stuff like this isn't even finished, kind of. And I think a lot of my rides will get better ratings. Uh, what? Desmond the mechanic has quit. Why is this closed? Oh, it's broke down. It broke and my mechanic quit. Okay, that's just great. Hold on a second. We're gonna hire another freaking mechanic. You go there right in the puddle of vomit and do your job. And uh, what else was I doing? I need you to open, I need you, oh, I was gonna talk about the rides, right. Because um, there's really low scenery on all of them, so their prestige isn't very high. But once I get the scenery in here, like this one probably has a bunch of scenery next to it, 90, it's up to two and a half, which isn't great. But I mean, all the rides in this game are kind of crap, to be honest. <laughs> Compared to the coasters, I don't have any scenery up here. My coaster's already almost four. People are getting off, which means people are getting on. Okay, who am I gonna be? Which of you am I gonna ride as? Whoa, 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 okay, no, you know what? We're going as the kid, 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 come back. We are the child, first person. Okay, uh, oh, come on, mom, can I drive, please? It's bumper cars, for Christ's sake. Mom, come on, please, I want wreckage, I want carnage, I want blood. You look like you wanna go out for a Sunday drive as you caress the wheel ever so seductively. I kind of want to out now, to be perfectly honest. Hey, can I come ride with you? Okay, I've lowered the wait time because they were waiting there for like two and a half minutes. The cars just don't fill up. And for some reason, you need two people in every car. Like if you're not driving, it sounds like it's incredibly unfun. This guy got the best idea going for him. Okay, hold on, we're gonna go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, um, what the hell? Who am I? Who are you? I'm driving. I'm not actually driving. I have no control over this. <laughs> but I want to bump people. Die. What's the point of bumper cars if you don't bump people? Bump. Wow. That, oh, okay, bump myself. This is depressing. Oh, head on collision. There we go, okay, we got, we got a little tiny bump. Yeah, I'm starting to think that uh, this might not have been all it was cracked up to be. It's a kid's ride. You know what, that's okay. Still happy to have it. There's not quite enough room on the other side of the path for me to put things on, or at least shops. I can put some scenery there. I probably will put something, but I figured we could start with this little strip mall, right? Uh, I might be able to rotate this just right so that it lines up. Put it back a tiny bit and right about there. Yeah, okay, so what does this even come with? What do we have here? We have um, restroom, chief beef, gulpy energy, gulpy slushy. Okay, yeah, that, that's a whole lot of stuff that I definitely needed up here. Pirate Fortress is really, really big. I want to get it somewhere because it looks so freaking good. I would love to be able to put it right here, but it just doesn't want to fit for me. Like, it, it, I guess it's the wings, right? That plane, you see what I was talking about where things clip right now? Because the Ferris wheel looks like it's okay and uh, can't place it, but the wings of that plane just come over and clip it ever so slightly. 
I might be able to move this over a little bit. Maybe move you over a little bit. I hate moving rides after I've placed them. It's such a pain in the butt, but I'll give it a try. Hold on. Uh, must close a ride before I can move it. Okay, everybody get the hell off. And now I can't even place you back where you were. Uh, hold on. Nope, that is not going to fit anywhere. I can't even put it back where it was. I feel like with this game, if you manage to fit something somewhere, feel fortunate because it's probably not going to go back. I'm curious how close I can actually get things to the coaster. Oh, okay. The draw range isn't too bad, honestly. Like, I could technically get them almost right up on it. Okay, that's really cool. That's something that we're going to have to work with in the future for sure because... I don't want it to just look like it's hovering there, you know, because it, it doesn't make any sense. Let's be honest. People pointed that out last time that maybe the coaster would look better if it had some structural support, but I don't think you can make custom supports. Like, you either have supports on or supports off, and if they were on, it would just look like a jungle gym nightmare. It would just be everywhere. So I really have to be selective. I like the way that it looks, you know what? It doesn't need to make sense, but I definitely do want to hide some places and uh, kind of have it a little bit more strategically floating there by adding some scenery and stuff like that. It's just a matter of finding it all. Honestly, all the blueprints that I found, a lot of them aren't really working. Okay, we have a little pirate uh, coffee shop. You know, we might be able to plug that in somewhere. What's a nice little spot? Uh, maybe right here, honestly. Yeah, that, that works. Okay. Uh, right around there. Cool, I like it. There is litter freaking everywhere because I forgot to put barrel bins on every corner as soon as I opened those stores, forgetting that people are assholes. <laughs> There's still no vomit though, actually. People had told me that I should probably put first aid directly outside of my coaster, where it's gonna be like the most important, but like people always get off my coaster and they're fine. I, I have a really good coaster, I guess, and it is getting crowded up here. Holy crap. Like. Just remember what the other side of the park looked like, like 10 minutes ago, and now look up here. Complete madness. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. This went well. I didn't get nearly as much done as I had hoped for, actually, because some of the blueprints aren't quite what I had hoped for, and a lot of things aren't fitting just right. But I want to do everything right the first time. I don't really want to play stuff just for the sake of an episode and then go back and delete it and fix it in between episodes. I feel like it kind of ruins the point, but we did get this upper portion set up quite well. I'm really happy with it. People seem to be happy with it. It's flooded. And if that's the case, if so many people will, like, flock to this end of the park because of a coaster, we might need to make a second coaster. I, I really want to make a second coaster, so if you guys are interested in that, be sure to let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.